Interest rates at all-time lows. Can you actually afford that dream house? That's the topic of my next video. How much house can you afford? Well, that's the topic of today's video. If you haven't heard, I don't know where you've been, but if you haven't heard, the mortgage rates are the lowest they've been in a very, very long time. Some mortgage brokers or bankers are telling me it's the lowest it's been in recorded history. I'm not a historian, so I don't know if that's factual, but I'm hearing the hype. All I can tell you is that they are very low. Your buying power, your house buying power has gone up significantly, whether you're looking to buy first time home buyer, you're looking to move up, or even if you're looking just to refinance, it's a great time to revisit your mortgage professional, your realtor, and find out what's going on with the numbers. I'm gonna share with you a tool that I found online so you can do a little research on your own, and it's a basic mortgage calculator that I just went to Google, I typed in how much house can I afford, mortgage affordability calculator. I'm going to include the link below so you don't have to shop around for it, and you just type in your numbers. We're gonna, I'm gonna go through how to use it, and I'm gonna share with you a little story of a buyer that I had two years ago that purchased a house right here on Long Island. They the loan amount on the house, not the purchase price, but the loan amount on the house was $400,000. 400,000, I think that's 400,000. Their interest rate was 5%. That means that their monthly payment for just the mortgage, not counting insurance and everything else, but just the mortgage was $2,147 at a 5% interest rate for a 30 year fixed. Interest rates now, we're gonna do a reduction of about two points because that's the approximate reduction from two years ago that I believe they're at hovering somewhere in the threes. So for argument's sake, to make it easier for the math, we're gonna to go to a 3%. Drops down to $1,686 a month. Let's do it again, 5%, 2147. 3%, this is a lot of fun, saving a lot of money, $1,686. So what does that mean? It means you get more money in your pocket. You can buy more of a house. Now, I'm not a math person, so I did the math on a calculator before. That's a $461 gain per month with a 2% drop. That's $5,532 a year. I'll say it again, $5,532 a year in your pocket for you to do whatever you want with. That's pretty powerful. So it means that if you want to refinance, yes, there are closing costs involved, but you can determine how long it will take to get the return on your investment. For these particular people, the buyers I mentioned, they just bought their house two years ago. So if they refinance, they're in it for the long term. They plan on staying there. They're definitely going to get the return on their investment in the long run. Now, another tool that I want to share with you before I do that, if you are on the fence about buying a house, you're a little nervous about it, I'm going to include a link on the bottom for a free ebook on a home buyer's guide, everything you need to know about buying uh, your home, whether it's your first home or a move up home, free buyer's guide, click the link below and you can take advantage of that free offer. The other item I'm going to share with you is another calculator, and I love these calculators and they're free and they're online, I'm gonna type in the same situation. When you want to refi or you wanna buy a house, you sit down with the mortgage person and they say to you, do you wanna buy a point? Well, what does that mean? If you wanna buy a point, it means you pay more interest up front in that front of the loan, like it's front loaded. One point is approximately 0.25% or a quarter percent on the interest rate. Now, on a 30 year loan, that could be a substantial amount of money. But is it worth it? First, if you have the money and it's personal choice, should you do it? Well, this calculator will help you decide. Now, this is put out by NerdWallet, as you can see here. Mortgage calculator, should I buy points? We're going to use their scenario, $400,000, 30-year term. Three and a quarter percent interest rate is what we're going to say the interest rate is now. One point. One point is 1% 1 of the loan, so that would be $4,000. Interest rate with points goes from three and a quarter. We're going to use a quarter point drop, 3%. Break even is 6.1 years or 73 months. 
and $4,000 is the points. Your monthly mortgage payment with points, 1,686 compared to 1,741. So this is a great calculator to decide or help you decide if you want to buy the points. I'm also going to include a link down below for this mortgage calculator. So now that you see how much house you can afford, it's only you that can make that decision. Some people just have analysis paralysis where they just keep you know, going on and on and on. And I can tell you, I was one of them many years ago. I finally made the plunge and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made was to buy a house. And yes, I could be a little biased, but no, back at the time when I bought my house, I was not a realtor some 20 something years ago. So I hope this video was helpful. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it and definitely click the subscribe button and share it with somebody that might be looking to buy a house and don't know if the numbers work for them. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes and thanks for watching.